we know it does not exist without struggle. Our civilization is under constant assault from forces we would once have called the powers of hell. In truth, these forces are far more ancient than Christianity. More ancient than any religion that has left its trace upon our species' soul. It is evil incarnate. And it has been working to destroy our highest aspirations, our faith in love and light, since we came into being. But we do not dare name this evil. To do so would be to admit to its presence in our world. To acknowledge that its servants walk the same streets that we walk, and its overlords, depraved, corrupt, and hungry for our flesh and our destruction, are hidden in the empty wastes of our planet, awaiting the day of mankind's execution. Only one power stands between us and universal death. Warrior magicians who have dedicated their lives to our protection. Most of us will never know their names, nor the battlefields where they wage their secret wars, nor will we ever honor their dead. But they are with us. Always. Armed, vigilant, and ready to die for another tomorrow. Jericho. They are called Jericho. They know all too well what the enemy is capable of. That before our species perishes, we will be tortured into madness, devoured alive. And they will do all in their power to protect us from such atrocities world exists tomorrow. Now you know why. Jericho. An ancient city emerged from the sands of time, bringing with it the seed of all Church, Cole, secure the entrance. The rest of you with me. Picking up the signal from the Swiss Guard Recon Squad? Yeah, but I can't get a lock. I'm getting close, but there's lots of interference. That's never a good sign. Okay, um, did you get all that? Uh, there will be a quiz on the history of Jericho and their protection that they offer us from the hidden denizens of hell. I, w I was thinking before I loaded up this classic FPS, the Clive Barker's Jericho, is that I was thinking that it might it goes a little bit too hard. It goes a little bit too edgy. And, like, watching the... Listening to the intro, and watching the intro, the the non-audio part, where actual video starts to occur as the group of people go into this kind of, like, ruin. Um, 
whoever they are. Like, I think it just goes a little bit too hard. Like, if I was going to try to bring Clive Barker along to do, like, a story, monster design, um, I might say, hey, like, let's play to your strengths. Like, have this kind of world that's underneath, and you have the real world be the focus. Um, but you find yourself breaking into that strange other world every now and again. Kind of like the darkness is. If you've ever played the Xbox 360 PS3 game, The Darkness, uh, it takes place mostly in the real world. But every so often you go into the world of the darkness uh, and see just how strange things can get. But if everything, if the entire game is just walls of flesh, there's no contrast. Oh. Okay, we don't need to watch that. Also, the intro cutscene almost seems like it just kind of stops. Like, the, the... The lady there gets, like, stabbed, pulled off into the darkness, and then that's it. We don't know who these people are. Or what happened to them? Are they also like the Swiss team? Cut up into tiny pieces? Also, also... How far... By the way, I don't think I've ever actually beaten this game. Um... I've clearly... played far too much of it. If I've unlocked stuff all right actually no it looks like i've only unlocked like one thing okay um but subtitles are technically on but for some reason they did not show up in the intro scene so we'll see if that is an issue uh from now on uh for now though let us I'll look that up at a later date. For now, let's start a new game. And God created the firstborn in his own image. An entity neither male nor female, dark nor light. A singular being that was both beautiful and terrible. To behold. Okay, clearly this game was made in. Uh, when, when when did this game come out? Two thousand four, two thousand eleven. I I think two thousand four. It was date two thousand seven. A little bit of a archaic viewpoint of gender binary. Disturbed by the power of his creation, God left it unfinished, banishing the firstborn from reality to the abyss, forsaken and unloved. In its place, God started fresh, the slate wiped clean. He divided his next creation into two sexes, he gave it intellect, reason, emotion. He gave it the gift of love. He gave it a soul. Biblical apocrypha. Gnostic text. Alright, so there's a sandstorm going around on this uh, ruin. Why are we walking with this? Oh yeah, I forgot about the child. Where is this? This is where it all started. This isn't real. It's as real as your soul. Help me. See what? It just goes a little bit too deep too quickly. It's three in the morning. How does he know what time it is? You felt it too. When? Oh, shit. Okay. 
I'll see you at the airfield. There isn't a single clock in view. He's really they call good. Us the Jericho Squad. We are the top secret combat arm of the I'm US I'm Army glad that he is war. telling this the to the uh, to his team exist. right now. Each of us is a specialist in one of the arcane arts. The army calls what we do covert occult warfare. <laughs> it's just a fancy euphemism for witches with guns. There was a time when the church would have burned people like us as heretics and monsters. Now we fight their wars for them. The exposition it is you, is, it? is that exposition that's been spoken aloud, or is he just thinking about that to himself? Either way, we, we just get some bonus exposition. Though I believe Ross has no abilities. He's just kind of the leader of the squad. Arnold Leach. Our old friend. This was taken back in 62, before we had any idea what he was capable of. Ritual murders in Baltimore, gas attacks in Sydney, and those poor kids in London. You got it. Anyway, Leach and his so-called Brotherhood of the Dark Rapture have been trying to gain access to Al Khalid for nearly 20 years. It seems that two days ago, he finally gave up on subtlety. Where'd you get these? Remote viewers at Langley got some psychographic images out before Leech shut them down. Okay, we'll run this just like the Glamis breach a few years ago. Cole scans for temporal anomalies? No, no, this isn't the same, not even close. Trust me when I tell you that the team has never faced anything like this before. What's the plan? Infiltrate the dig site and neutralize Leech and his cronies before they can open the breach. Now, Colonel Ackland of the Swiss Guard is providing perimeter security. He'll give us a sit rep once we're on the ground. I'm sure it'll go well. Wake up, Frank. <sighs> we there yet? God, I hate the fucking desert. I, mean, I know. What the hell is it's that? got all this sand. And it's coarse. And it's rough. It's happening again. This is And it gets everywhere. Captain, there are no reports of sandstorm activity in this area. This is not a natural phenomenon, sir. This is as close as we get. That wind will snap this bird in two. We'll take it from here. Safe flying. See you at the LZ. You waiting for an invitation, Jericho? Go, go, go. And that is the voice of Steve Bloom. I knew that sounded familiar. Oh, geez. Okay. It's also interesting to note that this is this game is, as you might have seen in the opening credits, is developed by Mercury Steam, who have gone on to make uh, Metroid Dread. Ma'am, I'm pretty sure your side boob is not going to allow for much armor, for much protection. Although that kind, this kind of uh, ignoring the side boob, like this game does have an interesting uh, assortment of character types. Like, you have, she's got the sword for, like, close melee attacks. We got a sniper. We've got revolver guy. I forget what these two do, but everybody has their own specialization. So there was, an, there were ideas to try to develop, like, um, variety to its gameplay. I will punch this open. Oh, yep, never mind. 
Oh. Use the directional buttons to select automatic fire mode. Oh yeah, this does a uh, shotgun and machine gun. So yeah, and I believe every uh, all the characters have a primary attack and secondary attack. Though if I rem if I remember correctly, like you don't really get much variety beyond that. The variety in the gameplay is entirely based around you swapping characters rather than you playing as that same character. Also, I already switched scenes. That's fine. Also, something to note is that, like, this is still in the era of game gaming where uh, whenever you uh, aimed at a bad guy, it only kind of zoomed the screen in. It did not bring up any iron sights. The iron sight uh, had not been invented yet. Ruins of al Khali, Middle East. The Department of Occult Warfare has sent in Jericho Team, a seven-man unit trained in both conventional and occult warfare, to investigate. All attempts at contacting the outpost inside al Khali have failed. With tensions already running high in the region, this is the event that could trigger the apocalypse. So, there's an issue, there's a, a desire for stories to want to get to the point quicker. Because when you get to the exciting part, like, you get to the more thrilling, action-packed, fast-paced, uh, the idea is that you pull the viewer, you pull the player, you pull the reader into the story faster by getting to the faster parts, more exciting parts, uh, as quick as possible. The problem with this is if you jump as fast as possible to the more exciting, action-packed, entertaining parts, you're, you're bypassing things like character development, story development, world development. For example, um... There, this, this is probably easier to discuss with, like, a couple books that I've read. Uh, one of the books being, um, I just actually finished reading The Outsider by Stephen King, where The Outsider begins uh, with these uh, police officers arresting um, the suspect for murder. And it begins with that person's life being thrown out of the loop by that unexpected uh, ordeal. So you never really meet them outside of their situation. You only know know them, know what they were like in retrospect. That character development has to be kind of sprinkled in as we move throughout. Um, it gets you to the point faster, but you lose the buildup. Another example of this is the book uh, Children of Blood and Bone. I think it's called, uh, which deals with magic systems, but it wants to, it, it rushes to the plot so quickly that towards the end of the book, it's still explaining to you what the magic systems are used for as they're being used. And here, we're already worried about the apocalypse. We have, we've, haven't even shot a gun at a bad guy. And it's almost the end of the world. Fascinating. The mural's Sumerian, but the writing's Aramaic. Ancient taggers? Well, that are art critics. What's it say? <laughs> Help wanted. The gateway to paradise is unlocked with the souls of the innocent and the blood of gods. So, which are we? Well, we're not God. Speak for yourself. Shit. Look, if joke. somebody asks if you're a god... Oh my gosh. 
Oh, m I forgot about the terrible quick time events. And they're all the way on the sides of the screen. Barely visible. I think you'll live. I I completely forgot about the uh the quick time event placement. But th and there's nothing nothing you can do about that. <sighs> anyway, if somebody asks if you're a god, say yes. Bonus points if you get the reference. What's that smell? Yes. It's blood. What happened to our storm? Fuck the storm, man. What happened to the daylight? This, ladies and gentlemen, is the lost city of Alkali. Feeling anything, Jones? No, not exactly. It's more like everything's just sort of... Empty. I was going to say dead. Cole, do a comm sweep for me. See if you can bring up command. I want to call in a sit rep and see what's happening. Look, somebody left their shovel behind. Ah, and their pallets! Press the down button to order your whole team to hold position. Jericho, take cover! U.S. Army, halt! Show me your hands! Easy, guys. They could be friendlies. I don't think they're, they're friendlies. Stopping. Ross, you need to look at this. What you got? I, I don't think they're alive, sir. Permission to fire! Hold fire! Bullshit, man! Look at them! Follow me. Don't worry, I got your back. Is everyone okay? We're alive, somehow. That's enough, oh. thanks. Cole, how are you doing on that sit rep? There's nothing, sir. I've done a full sweep. Other than our own radios, we are completely cut off. We should abort. It's just temporal distortion, nothing we haven't dealt with before. Stick to the plan. Jones, take Alpha and do some recon. Do not engage without backup. Back here in one hour. Omega, let's go. This guy is really confident in the things that so we used to do. Plan? We find the command center and recover the surveillance data from the attack. Whatever Leech has done here, it's clear he's in over his head. If they open the breach, there's no telling what might come out. Agent Green's in charge of the facility. She can brief us when we find her. We brought along one of the most southern drawls of a man we could find. He carries two desert eels. Also, you know, people criticize Quake for being gray and brown and brown gray and gray brown. But this, like, yeah, this game is uh, exemplary in regards to, like, how almost void of. Oh, how do I do the, uh. There we go. No, southern guy. Um. That's gonna be so they took out a southern gentleman. Amen. All right, it does not seem like I have to worry about a health meter. Oh. They came. 
from behind. Muted. Muted is the word uh, I want to say to describe the colors. Uh, desaturated. Desaturated is probably the better choice. Who, who did you kill? Also, hitting the checkpoint restores How your long ammo. Since you were here last, Captain Ross. Who's there? Ross. Shh. Listen. We've been expecting you. Over there. Look. Don't move. Why, hello, scary child. Everyone stay close. Uh, that way? No, probably this way. Ross, no. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You're going to have to be disappointed a little bit. Ah, scary child. Nope, there's more. Okay, it's asking me... Oh, that's just about the melee attacks. Okay, hold on. Can we adjust the brightness a little bit? That way everything isn't quite cast in shadow. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, I think that'll be it. And then we should be able to fully function while playing Clive Barker's Jericho. Anytime you're ready, sugar. Oh, we've we've got we've also got Rogue. We've got X-Men's Rogue on our team along with the proper southern gentleman. Blood. Is it Ice Chris's crystal. blood? Ground frozen. A blood sigil. That's serious magic. It makes sense, doesn't it? If they knew they were under attack, they'd have rites and incantations in place to lock the facility down. Can you unbind it? Sure can. This is one of ours. You might want to step back a bit. Absolutely nobody stands back. Through when it does, know what I mean? Rawlings, come with me. Abby, Billy, you two hang back. If that door doesn't open from the inside. I'm gonna need you to let us out. You got it, sir. Neat trick. All right. I don't know. It, it would be nice if we could speed up the uh, the typing because the, the loading seems to be way faster than the typing. The lost city of Al Khali is caught within a box of extremely virulent evil. Today there are a handful of ruins beneath the desert sands. But this place has been in existence throughout some of the most significant civilizations in history, many of which were oblivious to the tremendous power that lay under their very feet. What are we looking for? There's a huge array of we're looking for pallets. Surveillance gear constantly monitoring Alkali for any sign that the dimensional rift is weakening. We need to find and recover that data so we can determine what Leech has done and hopefully undo it. We need to undo the tampers he did 
to the portal in order to save the world. No. Oh. I like the fact that he actually had lines for that. Uh, is somebody being stabbed and murdered horribly? Oh, yeah. We probably could use a flashlight. Sir. Drop your weapon. Don't you fucking move. Muriel, it's me, Paul. You're one of them. I know it. I said drop the goddamn gun now. Muriel, I swear it's me, Paul Rawlings. We met in 96. I was your handler in Chechnya, then Sudan. What about Prague? Prague. Uh, Prague, 1999. New Year's Eve at the Hotel Bohemia. We danced a cold porter tune sung in Czech, then drank ourselves stupid on absinthe. Uh, I'm afraid my memory gets a bit fuzzy after that. Truly oh, the proper southern gentleman. Something terrible's happened. Is it the end They've of the world? The is it the apocalypse? It's out. What's out? What's she talking about? Operation God Seal. That's why they sent you, isn't it? You've got to stop it, Paul. If you don't, we've lost everything. Everyone in the world is lost. Did you manage to record the event itself? If we can pinpoint the source of the temporal distortion, we can find the breach. Cross, can you read me? I'm here. We got trouble. Alpha needs backup. What's your location? Northwest corner of the dig site. Multiple hostiles. We keep firing, but they just keep coming. Sit tight. We're on our way. Alpha needs help. We can't leave her here. I'm not asking. Abby, Billy, we're moving out. What do we have here anyway? Hello. Excuse me. How are you doing? Nothing on the screen is changing. You're doing a lot of typing. Are you looking up Jericho stuff? Lord, put courage into my heart and take away all that may hinder me serving you. I thought you were a priest. I am a priest. Well, what about Prague? I'm also human. Okay, I was wondering why, like, him talking religious stuff made him question the priest part. Gross. Okay, hold on. We can we can fix this. Outpost Vigil. Established to investigate the unusual activities of the Box during the Second World War, the Allies knew that the Germans, led by the Thule Society, were carrying out extensive excavation work on some mysterious ruins without any apparent reason. Hey! How are you two doing? Let us go find the bad guys. Let us go shoot the bad guys with our bullets until the bad guys die from the bullet wounds. And or bullets. Hey. Very rude of these guys who wear almost no clothes, have spiky hands, Yes, actually, that was all of them. Oh, no! There's... One. There's... Um, let's try the stairs. Oh, no! The enemies were waiting for us.
And then... Fucker. I wonder if, like, the, their... The, their corpses disappearing is part of the plot. Ah, shoot them in their weak spots. Who would have known? Those are cultists. All right. Next target, sir. Oh, hello. Did I just die? I just died. Alright, let's try that again. With less dying. I didn't know H was Jesus' middle name. We have made it. I can't raise Muriel on the radio. Cole, I need you to do some extreme data recovery. You up to it? That depends on the level of temporal distortion experienced at the site in relation to the event horizon of the breach itself. If the vortex is strong enough to cause a feedback loop, then theoretically, if the data existed, then it's always existed, sir. I have no idea what you just <laughs> said. I think I can recover the data, sir. Thank you. Not for me. <laughs> I also had no idea what she just said. If the data has exist, if the data exists, then it always exists. Whoosh. Although it's kind of one of those things, it's like it's purposely written to be over a character's head. So is it like too nonsensical, or does it actually make perfect sense? When the Alpha Omega symbols are visible on either side of the crosshair, you can order your team to the position of the crosshair. Pressing the left button will order Alpha Team to move. Press the right button will move. Will order Omega Team. All right. We, we've even got squad commands here. Move up, Alpha. Oh Wait my point. gosh. It takes way too Let's long. Go. Following your waypoint, sir. We got hostiles. Also, who does the fire trick? Ah, damn it. Where am I? Am I? Can pi people pick me back up? Ah. Are we causing the fire or is it the enemy? It's unclear. It might actually be the enemy. Is everyone okay? Surprisingly, yes. Ah, the flesh-covered columns. Everything's still somehow okay. This isn't human blood, sir. At least not all of it is. What is some of it? How can you tell if the blood is... Uh, well, I guess they have, like, occult powers. They have... They have Okay, yep, that's definitely, uh, not us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a delayed explosion. 
Alas, that's also how I died a lot in uh, Fallout 76. Is um, the they're robots who, when you kill them, they explode. Which direction am I supposed to be going in? In the direction we're facing when the checkpoint reloads? Okay, yeah. Um, robots that explode in Fallout 76 after you kill them. But it takes, like, a good moment or two uh, for that to happen. Now I remember one of the bigger issues of, uh, of the game Over here, asshole. is, like, your squad ba just barely functions. Like, having all these extra team members... More means you've got additional party members who are dumb. Extremely dumb. It does not necessarily mean you have more firepower most of the time. It just means you have dumb firepower a lot. All right. This isn't human blood, sir. At least not all of it is. I'm aware of that. You said that last time. No, no permission granted. Guys, thank you. Oh. I have no idea what just hit me. Alright, let's try this one again. Yep. Oh, is this where everybody is coming from? Yep, let's let him blow up first. Okay. Oh, no, no. No, not Rawlings. I wonder if I'll just end up remembering everybody's name because they keep getting knocked down. Not because they're interesting characters, but they just are very weak. Muriel, pick it up, guys! Double time. Hmm? Shit! Everyone, stack up. Jones, you feeling anything? Yes, sir. All of it bad. I'm feeling absolutely nothing. No, no, no. I'm feeling pain and suffering inside me. Although, to be fair, I am choosing with my own free will to play Clive Barker's Jericho. Because, for some odd reason, this is one of those games that I've always kind of wanted to go back and play through. I don't have a good reason why. It, like, the game isn't necessarily... Like, this could be, like, one of those... Not nostalgia specifically, but offshoot of nostalgia. Um, like one of those things that you remember uh, wanting to do. You, you, like you, and the doing it isn't as interesting as completing that step. Arnold Leach knows all too well what tactics the Jericho team will use to track him down. Carefully, he chooses someone to infiltrate... Dow, 
from the inside to feed him information he needs to be one step ahead of the Jericho te team. He knows that they'll use data gathered by Muriel Green to track him down, and he can't let this happen. How does he know this? How well known is Team Jericho? Well, hello. It's the blades are make them functionally bulletproof uh, on their arms. Not Father Rollins. He's, he's he's we can't have him out of the match. No. There we go. Got rid of you. Son of a... Shit, that was close. Anybody? Ah, excellent, thank you. You know, it's too bad that like, it's explosion attack is enough. To, oh my gosh. Like, does that much damage. Like, it should, probably shouldn't do 100% damage. Like, 75%? Sure. 90%? Deadly, but I'll buy it. But a guaranteed kill... Like, wipes the squad. Ah, uh, nope. Jesus. Everybody's back up. Jesus. What? That's all of them? Oh, you're disappointed, are you? Oh no! This horrible, bloody pile. I sent her here. I thought we needed space. I was afraid someone might find out. This is likely to cause a considerable amount of dimensional displacement, sir. You may want to step outside. What is? Ross, we got company. Excellent. Who? There. Damn it. Ah. It's hard to tell, like, what counts as a... What counts as a hit that kills you, and what counts as a hit that just knocks you down? Alright, let's try that again. Uh, maybe we'll... Also, is... I don't think this game has a run button. Uh, run buttons, as we all know, have not been invented yet. Um... In... 2000s no <laughs> Rawlings I sent her here I thought we needed space I was afraid someone might find out This is likely to cause a considerable amount of dimensional displacement sir you may want to step outside All right let's stay here There we go Ah. Get up. He's 
Alright, seems like we're doing a little bit better this time. I'm glad we have two types of enemies. I mean, I suppose we could have only had one type of enemy, so... And this is... At the very least, there's a lot of effects going on. And considering, like, this probably would have come out during the... Like, it's, it's stylish enough. But... Highly desaturated. Like the the desat desaturation isn't doing it any favors. There we go. Damn it. No? Back off. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. I'm like Man, I hate when she does that. Cole, what have you got for me? Alcalisa to top a seven point intersection of ley lines. Leech has pinpointed this intersection and made a substantial blood sacrifice to open the dimensional rift. Yes, but to open a portal of that size, he'd have to kill thousands. The Brotherhood only number a couple of hundred at best. Doesn't matter. Leech is a tantrist. Casters like Leech, they build up a charge. A karma bomb. That's right. All that shit those dark rapture dickheads have been pulling, killing babies, blowing up schools. They've been saving up that negative karma for this moment. How the hell did we miss something like that? You almost sound impressed. I am. Spellcraft like that takes vision. Foresight, man. You're sick. Sir, I pinpointed the exact location of the breach. I've also detected something coming through it. You know the truth, Something guys. is breaching the breach? Better pull up our breaches. Are we heading this way? No. That would have been too easy. Are we heading this way? No. Are we heading this way? Maybe? I think so. No, this was where we came from. Still good. Still good. Sumerian mystics that seek to pro Sumerian mystics that seek to protect humanity have always kept seven warrior priests at the ready should the firstborn return. Each time this ancient order is sent into the box to confront the firstborn, somehow each previous team has succeeded in closing the rift at a price. But will teams Alpha and Omega Leech. of Jericho We're closing the breach, Arnold. You can either get out of the way or we can kill you here. I'm fine either way. Ha. 
How are you doing? Have you been having a good night's rest? Jesus Christ on a crutch. Sir, your southern gentleman charm has gone too far. Oh no! Excellent. So many wave after waves of goons slowly coming at us. Sorry. Are we good? I think we're good. Excellent. Sorry. Sorry. It seems like only myself and Father Rawlings can bring people back. Like, the other members of the party don't seem to have the ability to, uh... to pick people back up. Or at the very least, they, uh, do not choose to use it. No! I'm still not entirely sure this fireball does kill us. It doesn't seem to be doing any damage to the characters that's nearby. Hostiles neutralized. And there's going to be a turn. There's still a turn in the game where things become more complicated. We haven't reached that point. And the fact that that point is as far away as it is means that you take a lot of time not really learning the character's abilities. Like, we're spending a lot of time as uh, Devin Ross here. Despite the fact that his main gameplay element is not the, the way that you play most of the game. Like, in a, in a short while, possibly within minutes, we're not going to be doing this machine gun, shotgun shtick for the rest of the game. And the fact that we're spending this long sticking with it... feels like we've spent uh feels like a little bit of a waste of time like we're drawing it out a little bit too much like we probably should have already gotten to the main gameplay gimmick Fire, fire. 
No, I will not cease fire. I will keep firing. No! Oh, son of a... And because Rawlings went down... Alright, let's try that again. I did not see incoming, the sir. guy coming in from the right. Fucker. Excellent. That was actually pretty good. Sorry. Oh my gosh. And I just brought him back. Okay, who else is down? Every everybody is at a nice safe distance, okay. Except for those two that decided they wanted to f to be on the front line. Although, you know, I suppose, like, when it comes to setting up the main thing, like, it varies in regards to pacing, in regards to the importance to the story. Like, think about Assassin's Creed 3. In Assassin's Creed 3, you spend, like, the, the opening prologue as a different character. You spend like quite a few, like a few hours playing as this other character before you switch. And the switch is meaningful, but also the game has a lot more story going on. It has a lot more variety as to what you're doing. Um, like you don't fight wave after wave of the same enemies within gray structures. And maybe that's the issue. It's not that it's taking too long. It's that it's not a good game. That's the probably the main issue oh look that Sir, statues in yes yep, yep. Just like Glamis. Billy and Rawlings will Ross the what did we tell you this is not like Gamas Spying on us, God damn it! Jam him, sir. What what uh, Clive Barker movie is this making me think of? Oh, hello. There's one with uh, the Quantum Break guy. I forget his name at the moment because I'm busy shooting. That also deals with magicians and magic and. Like, I feel there, like there's definitely a, a lot of that going on here. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, thank you. No, yeah, we want you back. And especially you. Excellent. He's trying to stall us. Priest, you better get explaining. Operation God Seal. It's the reason Jericho exists. There's an ancient Gnostic text that speaks of a being created before man. Wait, I know this. God couldn't destroy his first creation, so he locked it away, banished from the earth so he could start over again. Then he made mankind, and he gave us flaws to keep the balance right. But the firstborn was jealous. And its rage could not be contained. It's been waiting, accumulating power. What? You believe that apocalypse? You can't believe that strange stuff. Ever, all, everything else that's been happening, that's believable. But that... Hocus Pocus. Same old story. Every time we discover some fucked up ancient force, some asshole back in Langley wants us to put a collar around it and make it our pet. No, we were trying to contain it. 
What the fuck is that? I need you, Devon. Ross, don't go. The only way to win this is to set me free. This does not seem to be a wise move. And now here we have the main gimmick. Oh my god, he's fucking dead. What, what do we do now? Everyone, follow me. Come on, there's the breach. The spirit of Ross has exited his body and has taken over his ally. And that's essentially how you get your squad mechanics. is you, you swap uh, between each person's body, taking them over. Ross is dead. In the box, however, death has a different meaning. So the movie was Lord of Illusions with Scott Bakula. I apologize for forgetting his name. Um, it dealt with the idea of magicians. Uh, like the... I think the main no the main character was just this like PI detective guy, kind of an asshole. And he's investigating I forget what brings him into the to the main plot, but I think he was investigating uh some missing person. And he f discovers this magician character. Uh, but what we don't, what he doesn't know, but we know because we saw the intro, is that magician character has been in contact with real magic. So we're kind of seeing like this kind of like smoke and mirrors magic combined with real magic. And one of the best parts of the movie Lords of Illusion is like the 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 body horror, the practical effects uh, to show just like the twisted things that like Clive Barker's idea of magic could perform. It also has some of the worst CG effects, the absolute worst supremely garbage 3d effects. Like it looks like they just pulled it out of a PS one game, uh, type stuff. Is everyone here? No, we're not all here. We lost Ross. I'm still with you. What? There's someone in there with him. I can feel it. Delgado, can you hear me? Rawlings, it's me, Ross. I don't know what happened. I think I'm in him. That's what Put he said. Away, damn it. It's me. Prove it. Jesus Christ, Paul. Should I tell them about Prague, or do you want to trust me on this one? Well, no shit. Where's Frank? What have you done with him? He's still here. He's just... resting. Resting my ass, puto? Get the fuck out of my head! We saw you die. Leech killed you. <laughs> Not all of me. Fascinating. I want you to try linking to Abby. Can you do that for me? Um... Let's see. Does Abby offer her consent to that thing? Um. Asshole. Abby, can you hear me? 
Ross? I hate this! Get out! You're smothering me! Calm down, Abby. Just let me be inside you. Hey, Abby. I got a joke for you. How many telekinetic lesbian snipers does it take to clear a road? One. Yeah, superpowers. Hey, congratulations, Abby. Now you finally know what it's like to have a man inside <sighs> you. Fuck you. Use the possession interface by pressing and holding the X button to switch to Delgado, Team Alpha. Ah, he was doing the flame thing all along. Oh. Detects and attacks nearby hostile creatures. Neat. That's, that's what I mean, like this game has some neat ideas. Like, each character has, like, a very specific moveset um, that makes them unique from each other, even if the characters themselves aren't particularly interesting. Feeding time! Like, they, ha they at least have neat things that they can do. Anybody else want to get set on fire? Get me out. It's still me, Billy. Do you want to talk to Frank? I know it's you. Hell, if it wasn't for you and Rawlings, I'd still be back in the asylum. You don't have to thank me. He kind of sounds like he's doing a David Hayter impression, though. Clear. If you need my blood magic, you can link to me when you need to. Just don't screw up, or you'll have to deal with Frank. Well, I'm already dead, so... Stay here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What was the button? There we go. Church. Ah, this is Side Boob Sword Lady. Form Blood Ward. Blood Ward freezes enemies for a few seconds. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Where does she put her sword when she reloads? Oh, I probably have to... Ah, that's where the tendrils were coming from. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. It would be it would be good to know what these abilities actually do before you you use them. Church uses her own blood to cast the spell so it drains out life points from her. All right, I think I'm going to stop after this loading screen. But got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have yourself a good night. Hopefully your suggestions aren't shitty games like uh, Clive Barker's Jericho. A road made of petrified human remains leads the team closer to the firstborn. A path of souls stolen by the darkness of the box. If your suggestion is the darkness... The Darkness is awesome. Like, I would totally go for a sequel to The Dark... Actually, no, there's there's Darkness in The Darkness too. Uh, I, I, I wish there was a Darkness 3 or a Witchblade game. Because that's where Darkness 2 left off. But that's a discussion for another time. Have a good night.